Hey guys, I'm Josh with Aqua Heliac. That's Water by the Sun. I'm here to teach you guys how to make a yellow edge or tile deep drop. All right, basically what we've got here, we've got a uh, two hook setup we're gonna do today. We're gonna use 10 knot circle hooks. Okay, nice thick extra strength. We got two of those. We got two glow squids. And I just nipped the tip off there. You want these to be very tight on the line so they don't slide up and down, okay? Got a couple of these guys. These are basically swivel covers for our knots. Um, we got one giant swivel for the bottom on the deep drop lead. We have a top swivel. Some people may do a top snap swivel as well, but normally you have a snap swivel on your main line. And then we're gonna need our crimps. Uh, for this, we're gonna use 400 pound test line. So we got 2.3 and that's for 400 pound. And then you have the matching swivels as well, which basically look like these. So I got about 18 inches of line here, right? These we're gonna use for our hooks. And you have a natural curvature, so it does matter which way you put the hooks and which way you do the loops, because when they're hanging in the water off the main line, um, you want them to hang out. You don't want them to hang in and wrap up all around the line when they're, when they're uh, you don't want them to hang in towards your main line and then the hooks are facing the wrong way. So ideally, you know, you want your hook when it's hanging from the main line, you wanna to try to get it to hang out. You know, so when that fish bites it, it's not hanging in and wrapped around your main line like that. So basically what we're gonna do here, okay? We're gonna put your crimp on Put your hook on, slide that bad boy up in there. And what I like to do, okay, I am gonna burn this end right here. All right. And flatten that out. And that's kind of, all right. I'm going to burn this end right here. And flatten it out okay a little extra strength on your crimp and then when you pull that down make sure it's not hot make sure it's not hot still you don't want to make melt your main line okay so see that's already catching and you want your hook to be able to swing like this you don't want to pull it so tight to where it's stuck you do not want this okay leave a little play so that hook swings. And we're gonna put three crimps on it. One, two, three. So that's what a good crimp would look like. Notice the flat end will help secure that double check that your hook is swinging if you've split your crimp at all or your hook is binding up take the time and just redo it okay because the you want your tackle right so when you hang it's hanging out like so okay all right once our hooks on put our little squid head on our glow-in-the-dark squid head that way those tile fish can see. See how that slides? It's nice and see that slides nice and tight. It's not sliding up and down the line. If it's sliding up and down the line, they're probably gonna bite the line down there, and get confused. So you wanna be able to pull that over the hook down here once the bait's on there. So as a finished product, you know, you're looking like this with 
whatever meat you want to use down here. A lot of people use squid. I save all the bellies from my mahi and any fish I catch actually and just use belly bait. So up top, we're gonna to do a very similar thing. Use our slide swivel. Okay. Fold it over. Don't forget to burn it. Flatten it. Good. All right. Same thing as the hook. Let it rock. I don't want anything binding up. And then we'll crimp that one. One. Two. Notice what I'm doing to crimp too. It, it starts it starts flat okay so basically when we're crimping if you can see that that's a proper crimp. you're not you're not crimping the flat side I made this mistake a long time ago I have since learned your proper crimping then you have a nice professional crimp going on So that's our setup, about 18 inches. This is gonna slide down the main line. I'm gonna do one more real quick. All right, so we have our two, we've got our two deep drop hooks that are gonna go on the main line. So I've already pulled out about, about six feet. So basically all you're gonna to have to do with this is you know, just slide your swivels up here on the main line like so okay and we'll get to those later i'll put my little protective glow guy on here all right and so the bottom bottom we're gonna do a really big heavy swivel because sometimes we could use up to like a 10 pound lead and I normally use anywhere between 6 and 10 okay same concept Get the swivels snap swivel or excuse me same concept with the sleeves and the swivel and burn it much wind. I think a butane lighter would probably work better. Flatten it out. Always make sure you let it cool. I don't want to melt the main line. Pull it in there so you still have a little play. Three crimps. One, two, three. So that's gonna secure our bottom weight swivel, our bottom weight snap swivel. And then we're gonna pull our little rubber protector. Right over top. It's not 100% necessary that you have one of these, but I like them. All right, so here's the key. Now we're gonna work up to our first main hook line. Let's get this straight so you can see it. All right, so the first one, right? This is key. You don't want this hook. All right, picture this, right? Your placement on this line. Picture this on the placement on this line. I think a lot of people make these mistakes. If you slide it down too far, okay, and this hook is hanging down where your weight's gonna hang, when you actually catch a fish, this weight is gonna be smacking this fish all the way up. 
you're probably either gonna lose the fish or you're gonna have some nasty meat when you get up. So make sure you pull this thing up. I normally, I don't like these things too long because I like them to lay on the bottom. And I don't mind the weight hitting the tail a little bit. But I'll leave about 10 inches there, okay? 10, 12 inches. That way it's not really gonna hit it in the head and rip the hook right out of his mouth. So same kind of thing, we're gonna crimp these guys right where we want them. And these are a little different to crimp. I actually go almost all the way down to the smallest setting on this guy. I made a mistake once, and I thought it was crimped all the way. And what happened was, we just over crimp these, okay? Because what happened on a one excursion, what happened on one excursion is we were getting big fish and they were sliding this all the way down the line and taking the weight right off the bottom. The idea in fishing is learn every time you go fishing and don't ever make the same mistake twice. So that's a good tight cramp there. Okay, hanging down. Now the placement of the second one is important. Okay, we're gonna work. Now we're gonna flip this up and work up our line. Is when these things are going down, right? We don't want our hooks to be able to touch each other. No, no, okay? So I normally just leave a couple inches. That's all you need, okay? To measure it up. And we're all the way there. We're gonna crimp that bad boy right down. Right where that goes. I know a lot of you professional fishermen are making fun of me right now for these little piece of junk crimpers. But I can tell you, I've caught hundreds and hundreds of tile fish, yellow edge. So, I only made the one mistake the one time not crimping properly. But, other than that, I normally do pretty good with them. So again, same kind of concept where we don't want the hooks to touch. We're gonna chase this up the line to the top of the line, okay? You don't want this hook on the way down because your main line is, is coming in on a lot skinnier line. So what you don't want is this hook grabbing a hold of wherever your swivel's snapping or your main line. So you don't want like a swivel way down here where your hook is gonna grab that main line. So ideally you wanna go up again a few inches, right? Just to make sure it's not gonna grab. And that right there is where we're gonna put our top swivel. Cut that bad boy. Put my little sleeve on. Put our crimp on. I got an old big swivel I'm gonna use. Same thing. Okay, melt the end. But, oh, that's kind of ugly. It'll work, but. Button it out. I'm gonna pull that one tight. Again, leave a little play in there, it doesn't hurt. Okay, crimp that bad boy down. One, two, three. Okay, top swivel. protector on there okay now some people now when you put your snap swivel from your main line on here you're gonna connect a light here uh, we'll normally either connect the light at the top or sometimes we put a light on the bottom um, also what some people do is they'll put a sinker up top here so when your whole line goes down the whole line lays across the bottom um, I don't do that 
mainly because I've heard it tangles up. So, you know, basically what we have here is our finished product. All right, so finished product. There's the top. We're gonna double check. All right, so finished product, we have the top. We're gonna double check. See the distance where the hook is not going to go up above where our main line's at. That drops down, hangs. Okay, our hook's faced out. Chase it. And same again. They're not going to touch on the way down. And then you come all the way down here. And again, we're not all the way at the bottom, so the fish does not get beat up. Okay, and then your snap swivel right there goes on your lead at the bottom. Um, the lights we use, here, let's just roll this bad boy up. So normally what I do with my rigs, I like to roll them up nice and big, so they don't look all bunched up later. That's our rig, okay? These are the lights that we use. Uh, I have found my own personal thing is the tile fish seem to like the green lights and the yellow edge seem to like the multicolor. They work on both. There's a lot of uh, discussion out there. Use a light, don't use a light. Um, I have ran two rods at the same time, one with a light, one without a light. And the one with the light got the fish every time in comparison to the one that didn't. However, I have caught fish without a light, just not as many. So I would say use the lights. Um, other people tell you differently. It's, I guess it's to each his own, you know? So yeah, that's our setup on a golden tile and yellow edge rig made at home. Um, we'll show you some deep dropping when we go out. Um, show you what those pretty fish look like because they are the tastiest fish of the sea those tile in my opinion i mean bottom fish wise they're nice and sweet so uh so i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial um please like subscribe aqua heliac got all kinds of fishing videos mud and videos how to um and i hope it helps you guys out thanks a lot till next time